A new car from Marvel Snap is swinging in. Scarlet Spider is here for us, I guess, or something else interesting to say in the beginning of this YouTube video. Anyways, we decided to make triple double. I know I got two P's in there too, don't worry. So basically this deck is revolving around hand buffing or deck buffing, if you do have Fastos there, um, your Scarlet Spider. And basically Scarlet Spider is gonna add a copy. One thing to take note of is that the copy is kind of like a Mr. Sinister clone. It's gonna be a text-based card. So it can get buffed by things like Patriot or Washington DC. But in this case, we're not going for anything like that. Most people probably aren't because you only get one copy. We're going to go for an Arnim Zola route. But we also have Iron Man in here as well to buff up that lane that we're gonna be having uh, Scarlet Spider stay on. Cause he's gonna basically stay in that lane that you activate him on and toss a copy in one of the other two lanes, if there's space, obviously. So I think cool things you can have in conjunction with him probably gonna be things like Dr. Doom. We tried him out with Symbio Spider-Man, but that, that's not gonna work, we found out. So that's fine. but. Just making sure that he gets buffed up before you lay him down because every bit of power you have on him is gonna count. So Aranya, I think is fantastic for this because basically you can lay Aranya down whenever you want to. And then before you lay down your Scarlet Spider, you just, you just activate Aranya. And now you're gonna get a seven power Scarlet Spider instead of a five. But you can also lay down Hulkbuster in that same instance. Or you can do forge in the Hulkbuster on top of the Scarlet Spider on turn five. You can do lots of different things before you activate it. But I just wanted to, you know, take advantage of the amount of power that we're gonna have in that lane as well. So why not throw in Arnim Zola so that we can add a copy somewhere and then Arnim Zola, the original, so we can just toss power out to the other lanes. It can kind of shake and bake the opponent a little bit. They don't know what's gonna happen, right? We got Gwenpool in here too. Sometimes you get her uh, with Psylocke so you can get an early buff onto your Scarlet Spider. Most of the time people are gonna leave, I'm not gonna lie, because if you have a four, like 12 Scarlet Spider just sitting down out there on the field, they're probably gonna say, you know what? I don't wanna deal with this. I'm gonna hightail out of here. Other things you can do if you don't have Fastos, you can drop down something like Cosmo instead. That way you can protect your Scarlet Spider from getting, you know, Red Guardian um, and all sorts of stuff. Um, Shang-Chi, what else can you stop with that? You can you can stop Shadow King, tons of things. So keep that in mind as well. You don't have to build like that. I know a lot of people don't have Fastos uh, and I wasn't even using him a ton in this deck. Every now and then you're gonna have Scarlet Spider in your hand. He's not really gonna be that big of a deal. But Ravona can also help you get an Arnim Zola early. So just before we finish off this little intro, if you do get Ravona down and then you did get a Scarlet Spider down, you can trigger Scarlet Spider twice. Basically Arnim Zola on turn five, cause he's gonna be a five cost card on top of the Scarlet Spider. You trigger the Scarlet Spider, then you play Arnim Zola. You get two Scarlet Spiders in the, in the, in the other lanes then you can reactivate them the next turn because they are two totally new cards and that's the way it works. Either way, do you guys think this is a good way to play them? How are you playing them? Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. At your name. Oh, I want to be with you everywhere. Oh, we have no ongoing cards. That's Ravona, I guess. I forgot about that. All right, we're going to give Scarlet Spider a buff. Then we're going to put Hulkbuster down on top of him. Oh, sheesh. Can't pull the unpullable, baby. This is Arisham. Yeah, I was like, what is he doing?
I'm gonna have two Scarlet Spiders and also an Iron Man. Like, I don't think they can beat me. He Cersei again later? I don't give a damn. He probably Cersei's again here. Legitimate, don't give a shit. Ooh. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is forge. Iron Man. So this is gonna be two power here. 14, 16, 32. Then we're gonna have 32 power here. If I do forge and then this, so now we're adding four, which is gonna be 17, no, 14, 16, 18, 18 um, times two is 36. We just beat this, activate both of these. So when the night falls, my lonely heart dies. There we go. That was a good game. Oh, okay. You can't even give me a Black Widow bite. Like it was okay. It wasn't like fantastic, you know? But we still added enough power to be able to win and be able to lay down Iron Man on the last turn helped out really, really good. So that was great. And we got four cubes. Let's go, baby. I'm going to try these again tonight. Try to stay energized. With somebody who loves me. With somebody who loves me. Is everybody doing stuff like this? I don't know. Well, we have to play this over here now. I wish I had Ravona earlier, but that's fine. I can still get a chance to discount Arnim Zola. So here's the reason why I don't care about Ravona anymore. Um, Arnim Zola is either gonna be two two plus power or he's going to be five costs, right? If he's two plus power, he doesn't work with Ravona. So that's my reasoning. Honestly, I think I'm just going to play forge instead. Yeah, I'm just gonna play forge instead. We're gonna activate this. Play Symbio, play Scarlet Spider. Atuma. You tell me that you need me. You tell me that you love me. When I know that you like. I do hear it in the night. Hopefully he doesn't have Shang-Chi. Oh, he has an Nimrod. Okay. So we activate this and then we play Arnim Zola. So we're going to get two nine power. We're going to get, well, we get a nine somewhere and then we get another one. So we'll see how this works. We're going to get two in both areas either way, but we're going to see what happens. Okay. So I was hoping that that one would go to the left. You 
because there's no way that that Nimrod on the left is going to win. Well, it's actually going to go away. Never mind. I don't care about that because that Nimrod's going to go to the right and we don't care because we have Iron Man on the on the right. So there we go. So far, we got a 100% win rate, don't we? Or maybe he's smurfing in. Both have already been done. All right, bet. I had a feeling. It's not my fault, I swear. Double Discord Spow? I don't think so. I would like to get rid of Asteroid M. Asteroid M is such a nuisance, man. Oh, it's White Hot Room. Too bad I can't use it. Yeah, I just wished it asteroid M wasn't here. Yeah, Wong is probably going to be everywhere tonight. Thought I was selling shorts. No. Might as well get the extra energy, I guess. <laughs> I was actually, I actually had a deck that had tech Cosmo into it and I changed it. He's going to lay down Odin, ain't he? Well, Fastos is going to fly back over here anyway, so. This is what it sounds like when doves cry. Honestly, it'd be better for me to. Okay, wait, wait, wait. undo. If I play Iron Man here, play do this because this this is not he's not gonna, if he plays odin down right here well i guess he can move jeff there if he moves jeff there we might lose i don't know that's gonna be kind of tough did we get a shout out for robotussin by the way oh we did okay i see it um do this activate then lay this down Okay, you played it on the right. Is that Namora? I am Iron Man. I thought I turned him into a uh, what's a caller for a second. Did we win or did we lose? I don't know. Namora. Oh, he got me. There was. The only way I could win that victory. I didn't have a way to win it, I don't think. Oh wait, I do win. Never mind. I won. What the frick frack? Didn't even realize I won. Wow. I was looking over here and I was thinking, damn, he won right here and I lost over here. I thought I was done. Wow. Well, those are the best moments when you think you've lost it all and you've actually uh grasped victory in your in your hands. <laughs> The frick frack, the frick frack. I, I, dude, I, I did not realize I, uh, I won. It's been a while since I've done that.
We can wait 10 minutes, bet. <gasps> no, no, my Nico. Watch this be something I wanted. I fucking knew it was gonna be something I wanted. I knew it was gonna be something I wanted because it's always something you want when it's when the icebox fucking hits it, you know? I guess we go for Iron Lad. Run away, run away. Just like the wind winged off. Sings a song, sounds like she's singing. How dare you, you son of a tr trick. You think he has a um, rogue or Shang-Chi? Never look at cars in the game. I get disconnected. Don't do that. I am Iron Man. Don't don't do disconnected. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be, don't be a disconnected Andy. The fuck is this deck? I don't know what he's doing, man. You know. He's, well, this is a zoo deck. Zoo deck with Cassandra Nova. That's what I see. You think he has Shang-Chi? No reason to play around you. We won't. Red Hulk? Huh. No one would have expected Arnhem, so I can't blame him. I am Iron Man. Iron Man. No need to ask, he's a shrewd operator. I am a tiger. Doku, have a fantastic night, dude. Thank you for showing up as always, man. Might as well do this. Interesting. That was not desirable. All hail Hydra. <laughs> you know, I 
I don't think we have a chance to win this. Something tells me this is going to be a really tough, tough, uh, a really tough game to win. Some tell we could probably win this lane, but I don't know about the other ones. You, you guys think I should play Iron Man on the? Wait, what do you think I should play Iron Man on the left? You know what? Actually, real talk. What if I did? Oh, it wouldn't even work, would it? Nico won't even work over here. <laughs> yep, this is my kind of this is my kind of luck, guys. This is my kind of luck. This is my kind of luck. <laughs> this is it's my kind of luck, man. I'm telling. Oh, I know you guys are still here. Well, while you're sticking around, be sure to subscribe and also check out this video. See you guys in later. Bye.